I've been using the PlayStation Access Controller for over a month now. And for me, it's the perfect device to use on my PC to carry out WASD and other keyboard actions. So today I'm going to talk you through what you need to do in order to be able to game using your PlayStation Access Controller on your PC. The first step you've got to do is install a piece of software called Joy the Key. And I've included a link in the description as to where you can download this piece of software. What Joyd Key does is translates your controller inputs or joystick inputs into virtual keyboard inputs. Now, once you've installed Joyd Key, you need to turn off your PC. Just wait with me, you'll find out why in a minute. Now this next step you can only perform if you have a PlayStation 5, but you can still carry on with the rest of the tutorial if you don't have a PlayStation 5. This step just seems to improve the performance and usability of the access controller. What you need to do is go onto your PlayStation 5 and create a new profile for your access controller. If you don't know how to do this, I've got a video about how you set up your access controller on your PlayStation 5, which I will put a little card up now for you to go and watch. With this new profile you're creating, set the joystick to act as left stick and all the main buttons you want to use on the access controller as cross, circle, square and triangle and then also L2 and R2. Then save this profile to the access controller you're going to use on your PC and set it to active slot 1. The reason for doing this step is that out of the box I found the access controller only had two or three buttons that was recognized within Joy to Key on my PC. However, once you carry out this step, only two buttons were left unrecognized which is a massive improvement compared to, well, only being able to use two or three. It took a lot of trial and error. If you want to spend time and try and work out which buttons get recognized, please let me know if you find any others. But cross, circle, square and triangle are ones that definitely do get recognized. So please carry out this step if you can. Before we carry on with the rest of the tutorial, it'd be a great help to my channel if you could drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what game you're looking forward to play with the access controller on your PC. Once you've set this new profile on the PlayStation 5, or you're just going to use it out of the box, plug in your access controller with a USB-C cable into your PC before you turn it on. It's important you do this before you turn on your PC because I found that if I plugged it in once my PC was on, for some reason the access controller wasn't being recognized. So it's important you plug your access controller in first and then turn on your PC. Now that your access controller is plugged in, you can turn on your PC and open up Joy to Key. With Joy to Key, it makes it a lot easier just in the whole setting up process if you don't have any other controllers plugged in. So if you do have any other controllers plugged in, just unplug it for the time being if you don't require them in your setup. But once we've got the PC on and Joy to Key open, if you've set up to this point correctly, Joystick 1 on Joy to Key should be highlighted yellow and if you move your joystick on the access controller up, down, left and right, all the stick direction points should also highlight in that yellow colour when you move them. The final step is to assign key bindings to the stick directions and also all the buttons you press. The best way to carry this out is to press a button on your access controller and then see which button on Joy to Key glows because then you know that the button on the Axis controller corresponds to that button in Joy to Key. Once we've seen which one glows on Joy to Key, double click on that button and we can go into the key binding assignments. To set a simple key binding, click on the keyboard tab and then click on the top left box. Then simply press down on your keyboard on whatever key you want that key binding to be. There are plenty of other functions and features that Joy to Key can perform that provide countless different options for whatever button you press on your controller. But I want to keep this video short and sweet. So if you want to learn more about Joy to Key, let me know in the comments and I will produce that video for you all. Hopefully once you've got your key binding set up, you should be able to game using the access controller and Joy to Key as I have been playing Overwatch using the access controller on my PC for this past week. One thing I did look into was whether Steam provides any controller support for the access controller like they do many other controllers. Unfortunately, Steam doesn't provide any support for the access controller at the moment. So the only way you are going to be able to use the access controller 
on your PC is by following these steps. Hopefully this video will help you all get your PlayStation Access Controller working on PC. Whilst we wait for PlayStation to bring out software and drivers that allow us to easily access the Access Controllers on our PCs. As always have a great day if you've got any questions let me know in the comments and I'll try to get round to answering them and I'll see you in my next video.